back to um, the 2021 Digital Age Expo and Business Show. Again, I am Albi, your host for today. And uh, let me introduce you our speaker. Of course, he's the last speaker, but definitely not the least. So um, let's begin. He is a global speaker, entrepreneur, co-founder of Rich and Pian, and, and the founder of Millionaire Speakers. And um, today, he will be discussing about how to build a seven-figure brand with your story. So without further ado, please join me to welcome Mr. Milan Milosovic. Over to you, Milan. Thank you, Albi. Thank you. And such a pleasure to be here again with uh, the powerful event that you guys created uh, last time. It was also a privilege. So thanks so much. And I'm excited to share the knowledge and journey with your audience and hopefully we're gonna take some business people to the whole new level. Yes, love it. All right, yes, of course. Our pleasure then, right, to hear from you, Milan. All right, just, over if to I you. Can, uh, I can share the screen, that'd be great. Uh, if we can, perhaps. Yes, good. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Sure. That should be ah, there you go, perfect. Yes, yes, Excellent. I can see it now, Milan. <laughs> Great. So thank you. Well, today we really want to talk about how to build a seven-figure business with your speaking, with your story. I've done it a couple of times, and I help other people doing the same thing. And hopefully, today you will also uh, learn what really does it take to take your business to the whole new level also if you have any questions feel free to write them down either in the chat or uh wherever you see me you're going to have some different links uh on the digital age expo i'll be able to receive them and answer them but uh, a little bit about myself uh Mila Milosevic, co-founder of riches and beyond and founder of million speakers program i've been speaking for the last about 16 years uh, also been investing in property very successfully Success didn't happen overnight, so I'm going to share a bit of a story today with you uh, as well and show you how you can do the same thing. I was that guy who couldn't even speak English, believe it or not, so it's been a journey, and uh, I'm, I'm grateful for this journey, and uh, that's why I'm here today, so I can share this journey and inspire more people around the world. A little bit about our company, Riches and Beyond. Uh, we've been around for a while, several years, but we did. We partner up with top property investors here in South Africa. And around the world and we have to date over forty-five thousand students a lot of success stories we have our own show on the home channel it's called the property game and uh, again it's been a rewarding journey and a lot of great people you might even see some of them today are here to inspire you and uh, show you that you can do the same thing i'm also a founder of millionaire speakers program i'm passionate about speaking speaking brought me here to this point i've been speaking for the last 16 years build these businesses uh, done over a thousand presentations, live events, webinars, hundreds of them. Uh, and uh, I've changed many, many lives through that. I'm going to show you as well how you can do the same thing. That's what it's always about, right? So um, again, uh, I want to show you today um, what really needs to happen for you to grow your business. So are we going to cover, hope you have your notepads ready, wherever you folks from, uh, we're going to cover how to grow your business, whether you're a startup or you already have established business. I will share my framework, so feel free to copy it and apply it in your case. And if there's anything that you might be missing that you feel, hey, you know what, uh, this is what I was missing. This was that one thing. Feel free to reach out. I'll be able to assist you with that. So how to grow your business. Number two, how to master that online stage. Now, even this right now, Zoom platform, it's an online stage. A lot of people are still uncomfortable. I mean, I used to do a lot of live events before pandemic. And then this thing happened. We have to switch online. It was a bit of a transition. I also had to learn that. You know, you're looking at this little circle in front of you. How do we become comfortable with that? Comes with practice. But I'm also going to show you a couple of tricks what I use and how you can do exactly the same thing. Also, uh, why your story matters in business. You're going to see that very, very soon that, you know, everybody's trying to sell you something. Today, there won't be any selling. 
thank God, finally, right? So it's all about uh, to connect with people, to bring a lot of value so that eventually, if you have something to offer, people will come to you because they like you, because they like your story, right? It becomes a natural way of, of progression. Also, uh, how do we uh, build a seven-figure business? What does what's need to happen, right? You might be a startup, six-figure business. What does it need to happen for you to become a seven-figure business or even eight, like some of our businesses are? Also, I will share with you some proven strategies. And uh, the real thing is uh, anybody can really do this. And by applying this, what you're going to learn today, you can increase your impact, influence, and income at the end of the day. Hope you guys are ready for this. If you guys are ready, let's move on. Now, uh, what we're going to cover today, we, uh, the only challenge we have today really is, is the time. We're very limited with time, but I will cover with you in a nutshell, give you my framework, and you take it, apply it. Uh, I can promise you one thing. If you apply 5% of what you're going to learn today, your business will be in a much, much better level. And I will just share from my experience how we build all our businesses to uh, six and seven figures and eventually to eight, like we did with some of us. Now, here is that framework. So feel free to take a photo. I'm allowing you. Feel free to use it. Uh, this is something we build it, and this has been proven in all our businesses to work. Number one, you need to have that success mindset, right? You need to understand that, hey, I might be a startup. If someone else was able to do it, I can do exactly the same thing. Also, number two, your story. Your story needs to be out there. And today, hopefully, you're going to learn the importance of your story and why your story matters and why it shouldn't be just about product and, and service. It should be something more, much deeper than that where you're going to be connecting with people, right? So also, how do we sell from the stage? Which platform will be great to be used, especially right now during these opportunities? I like to call them whether it's online and how do we transition from live events to online and eventually how do we become an authority in that space because if i have a lot of coaches a lot of mentors a lot of speakers how do i pick that particular one that's going to resonate with me so everything boils down to three things number one is your story number two is your marketing and number three is your business structure you might have a great story you might be the best speaker in the world but if nobody knows about you, probably only your friends and family is going to be praising you, right? So we need to put a bit of a marketing. Now, even if you have a great story, powerful marketing, how do we actually make money out of it, right? How do we get more clients? I don't want to just sell to my friends and family. So I got to be a bit of a business structure. So I'm going to share that with you guys today. Eventually, you stand up by becoming an authority. Also, uh, what kind of strategy will work the best in your case? Whatever you do, you're probably offering a product or service. Got to be some certain strategy that we have that we follow. And I will share with you folks some of the powerful marketing tools that I've been using for a long period of time. This hopefully might help you. One thing I want you to understand, you're not able to do this alone. You do need to have a team of people, right? You might be that jack of all trades, but you can never become a master of none. It becomes very difficult to understand everything. So what really helped me is, is a great team of people. Depending on what you do, you'll know who they are. Also, got to be a clear path how to grow that business, right? From this point where are you right now to six, seven, or later, uh, later eight figures. What really helped us is the teaming up with the top international speakers and coaches and mentors here in South Africa, in Joburg, where we are based right now. This way, we have uh, students from all around the world, over 45,000 students, a lot of great, great people, because they're experts in the area. And essentially, how many of you like the idea to have your business automated? Anybody like that? I hope everybody, you know, I want to have it automated so I can go and travel. So got to be some kind of a system that you can still go and travel, spend time with your family. And eventually, how do we create multiple revenue streams? And why is this so important? Simple, you should never ever rely on only one income stream. Why? If that one fails, you have nothing. So we have, need to have multiple. I'm going to share with you guys what kind of multiple. I will literally share my entire business model today. So feel free to copy it. I'm allowing you. So hopefully you might find something that might resonate with you. Now, again, this is that framework. If there's anything that you might need help with uh, what you've seen on the screen here, I'm going to leave my, my contact details. Feel free to book a call with me one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I, I made myself available for the next three days. So feel free to do it. It's completely complimentary. There won't be any selling day either. Today is all about giving you value and, and seeing how I can help you. I'm coming from a place of serving people. If you guys see some value today, so feel free to book it. Calendly.com forward slash millionaire speakers call. Quite, quite easy to follow. Now, a little bit about myself. My story is going to be very short. It's not about me, it's about you. Most people today, they say, Milan, you made it. Sports car, big house, you traveled, seven, eight-figure businesses. Milan, we want to be like you. 
I probably fit into that image of success, right? What not many people know about me is that 16 years ago, I was broke. College dropout who could barely speak English. Yes, that was me. Born and raised in Serbia. I didn't know it's in Europe, just next door there to UK. My dad was electrician. I went to school. I went to college. While I was in college, I wanted to support my family and we didn't have enough money. I started working. Somehow I couldn't study and work, so I dropped out of college. I'm a college dropout. And the only way I knew about making more money was go there and get a better paid job. So I got a job offer to go and work in America, August 12, 2005. And I took it. Couldn't speak English, barely. How yes, no, that was me 16 years ago. But I still took that leap of faith. And then I work in America, met my wife, African lady from South Africa here. We got all serious. And that's how this journey started. Uh, we were privileged to be learning from the best. In every industry we were in, I started in the gift shop, on the cruise ship. I traveled to many countries. I was privileged to see some other people who have done some great things. And I always thought to myself, you know what? I want to do that. I've seen some public speakers. That sounds so great. I want to be that person. Then I started doing different seminars. I uh, did some art auctions as well. Uh, I learned from powerful people about speaking, and I've been doing this for the last 16 years. Eventually, we settled down here in South Africa, 2014, for good. Then we started uh, preaching about property, investing in property. Now, we build a massive business in property investing. We're also developers. But speaking was and always will be my one of my first love. Uh, I love speaking, and I've seen massive change in my life. First thing first, speaking gave me a lot of confidence, but also I helped, uh, helped me to build a massive network of powerful people around the world. You're going to see some of them today. To date, I've done over a thousand, literally a thousand live events, presentations, locally, internationally. I've spoken in America, Canada, Dubai, shared the stage with Lisa Nichols, Robbie Kiyosaki. I've done hundreds of webinars, literally, since the pandemic happened. Every week, we do about five different webinars, two our webinars and master classes, workshops. So I specialize in online business now, but before that live events, that was my, my passion as well. So I'm gonna share with you guys how you can combine these different things. Feel free to add me as a friend, Milo Milosic Live, Instagram, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn as well. Uh, I learned something powerful a long time ago. I wanna share this, this with you guys today. If you wanna become a millionaire, find a millionaire to teach you and take you to the next level. Same thing in speaking. You want to become a powerful speaker or a businessman find someone who's there where you want to be these people you see on the screen they're my mentors les brown you got to be hungry help me a lot uh, i'm a founder of million speakers program my students are now they're, they're learning from me what i learned from these people chris gardner pursuit of happiness lisa nichols you guys know lisa uh we shared the stage at some point powerful lady we spent about fifty thousand dollars for coaching with lisa might be a lot of money but let me do something Great mentors that come with a great price, but they also come with great results. Powerful, powerful. We even shared this there at some point. Also, Bob Proctor, Law of Attraction, one of my mentors. Robert Kiyosaki, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, highly recommend get that book. What you're learning today, you can apply anywhere, pretty much. All these opportunities are pretty much everywhere. We have students from all around the world, Zambia, Kenya, Namibia, Botswana, South Africa, UK, Germany, America as well. Powerful, powerful journey. I've been honored and privileged to share this journey with the world and inspire a lot of people. For me, it's about inspiring your story. Some people might see it being jealous, but for me, it's about either you get jealous or you get inspired. It's, it's up to you, right? Also, uh, this uh, what boils down to this is what you see on the screen. The real question is, why are you here today? What do you really want? And do you know how you're going to get it? If you don't know how, well, it becomes a very difficult road. Everything you see on the screen, this journey, this business, speaking, property, paid for it. I realize that if I want something, I need to become a different person. I need to change my mindset and I need to learn from the people who are there where I want to be. Everything you see here, literally, this car used to be the car of my dreams. I traveled to over 40 different countries in the world and it's been an amazing, rewarding journey. And I want to show you today that you can have everything you want to if you know how you're going to get there. And hopefully today I'm going to give you that clarity with your business and with your journey. Uh, I'm also a proud father of two little rascals, two little ones, Stefan and Jasmine. 
uh, they, they, my little ones, uh, they're four years old right now. I cannot wait for them to teach them everything I know. Once you get the knowledge, nobody can take that away from you. Anybody there with me to build a generational world, right? That's what's all this about. We're passing this knowledge to other people who are not privileged enough to learn this. And that's why I truly appreciate being part of this amazing event. So many people, business owners, learning from other powerful people as well. And it's a great place to be part of it. I'm so happy to be as well. There's no greater feeling when you can give back without asking for anything in return, right? That's it about me. My story ends here. Now let's talk about business. And here's what I learned in this journey. I want to share with you guys this today. Three pillars of success. I also want to add one more on top of that. But I realize it's very important, especially during this time. Number one, you need to have something, right? Product or a service. It's not just about, hey, I want to be that speaker on that stage, get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars. You know what? That might happen, but you need to have something at the back end. When you're on that stage, something that you're promoting. Got to be something, whether it's a product or a service. Number two, got to be some marketing. People need to know about you apart from your friends and family. So marketing creates awareness about your product or service and also who you really are. We can talk about marketing and also sales, right? How do we generate sales? I mean, a lot of time I was speaking for free, but for me, being on a stage is creating uh, a building that bond with the audience and creating that connection. When somebody wants something from me, oh, Milan, you know what? I want you to be my coach. There gotta be some kind of a process. How do we generate sales? How do we generate in leads? Where do we find more clients? I'm going to talk about that as well. And I will add also the one that you see on the bottom, which is extremely important right now during pandemic, especially where everything most of the time is online. Powerful structure, which is customer service, exceptional customer service. There's no, there's no exceptions here. You got to be different. You know, how do I choose you over other coaches or other speakers? You know, you got to be different. You got to show me that you're coming from that caring place and everybody in your team. And I have about 30 people in my team right now. They all extension of me, right? The, the way I think, the way I act, they will say exactly the same way. So this has to be as a part of your business. If one of the things is missing, you know, that then the business won't, won't be the right way it should be. Like you might have a great product or service. If there's no story behind it, you know, we don't like you, but kind of, we see what you're offering. If the customer service is not good, but you might have a great product, then eventually business will fail. So we're going to talk about all these, these different things today. Now let's talk about how do we find our client and how do we basically, where we are right now, what are you offering that product or service? Who is our client and where do we find them, right? Got to be that perfect person. You know, if you have them in front of you, that you know, they're going to buy that, what you offer. So number one, you need to know who is your client. Is it a female? Is it a male? What's the age? Where are they located? What are their interests? Are they on the Facebook? Are they on the LinkedIn? Are they on the Instagram? So I need to know who they are, where they are, right? So where do I meet them? Do I have to go to some different meetings here and there? Number two, what kind of problem am I solving, right? You gotta be some problem that you're solving, right? It's not just about, I can make your life better. Very, very vague. Gotta be something very specific. What's that better mean for you, right? I can make you have more time for your friends and family, for instance. Uh, in three months from now, I can put you on the front cover of the magazine where 200,000 people might see you. Would that make a difference now that you don't have a business or client, right? So I'm solving a problem. And once we identify the problem, we can create that message, a message for what we offer it. Got to be a very clear message. And I realize that a lot of powerful messages are very straight to the point with a, with a clear outline and a deadline, right? Timeline, put it that way. So Three months from now, six months from now, you will get this. And this is what you need to have. So today's all about telling you what you need to do. And eventually you're going to realize how to do it, right? Number three, what are the goals of your clients? What does your client want, right? And be very, very specific. If my client is, is an average male in their 30s, 40s, uh, an entrepreneur, business owner, aspiring speaker, what do they really want? Do they want to be on that stage in front of 3,000 people? Do they want to change lives around the world? Do they want to build a business? Do they want to learn how to be better in, speaker, in speaking? So I'm there to identify their goals and show them that solution through my offer, right? Number four, what is their pain? If they don't end up on that stage, 3,000 people changing lives, what would life mean for them? Are they going to feel accomplished? If they don't grow their business to the next level, what would that mean for them? They put so much effort in it. So pain is the biggest motivated, motivator in any business. And people buy into people, buy into things, right? 
because of feel need for it. You know, I need this because I don't ever want to see my kids struggling. I don't ever want to see my kids being hungry. I want to support my friends and family, my older parents. So these are four crucial things when you're talking to a customer in front of them. I would always ask someone, it's not about I'm trying to sell you something. It's all about, do you really need this? Can I really help you? Let's see how can I help you? And then you decide, is this something that you would like to do, right? So we're getting much deeper here, much more personal level. And uh, I want to teach you guys something powerful here. I learned this a long time ago. A lot of amateurs, when they start in the journey, they want to compete with others by lowering the price. Instead of lowering the price, how about you increase the value? Which means it's not about the price, it's about the value that you offer, right? If I can say, hey, look, I'm nobody, and uh, I can teach you to be a better speaker, and probably if you Google me, you won't find anything online, and I want to charge you $10,000 for it, you know, not many people would pay because there's not much credibility. But if I say, hey, I'm Milan, I'm the founder of Millionaire Speakers, I have 45,000 students, I've been here and there, I've done quite a few interviews, I shared the stage with this one. You know, my kind of credibility goes up. And it's all about my value at the same time goes up. Can you guys see that? So this brings us to the very important point of the marketing, right? If nobody knows about you, then you're not able to charge that much money. Why Tony Robbins would charge $50,000 for coaching one-on-one? -on -one? Because people know about him. People know about his testimonials and automatically we think that he can do the same thing for us. So marketing is important because marketing builds trust, awareness about who you are, right? Being exposed out there in the media, right? Whether you've done interviews, even this event is a powerful way of creating trust. People get to know you, creates brand awareness. By creating brand awareness, this creates a relationship. You probably seen me last time in July when I was at the event and I'm back here. You kind of know me, people who know me from before. And the longer you follow me on the social media, eventually when I offer you something, it becomes a seamless tra transition from you who didn't know me to you who, you know, I love Milan, I love his story, I love his family. I love that he's giving back now. Maybe it's the time for me right now to buy what Milan has to offer, right? So trust builds relationship. And if you ever wonder why people want you to subscribe to their, to their websites, leave your email address, get this free book for free, right? Because they want your email address so they can send you emails and try to build that relationship by nurturing you, by sending you messages, daily emails. And eventually could be five months from now, could be a year, two, three years from now, something's going to resonate with you. And you'll say, oh, this guy's talking my thing. And let me see what else do they have to offer. So at that point, that's a matter of time because everything at the end of the day is the business, right? And building trust and relationship, we're giving so much value to people in front of us that eventually this leads to a sale. Relationships build value, right? Simple. And just to use a bit of a story here, it's a lot of storytelling here. You guys are going to see that. Um, simple. If I met you today, you don't know who I am. I don't know who you are, but we kind of like each other. We have something in common. You know, you've been a speaker. I've been a speaker. Great. Next time I met you again, Oh, it's you, Milan, again. Oh, wow, how's your journey? And then we realize that they both have twins. Wow, you also have twins. Wow, you are you kids also driving you crazy? Yes, my also, you know. So we have more connection now. And I can imagine if we spend more time together, let's have a beer, let's go to the gym together. Eventually, it's a matter of time because we have a lot of things in common. We might become friends, right? Might be a few months from now, might be a year from now. We are friends, we're good friends. The next time when I recommend you something, or if you recommend me something, I'm, I'm there to listen because you're my friend, because we build a relationship, we build trust over a period of time. It's the same with your clients. Build this relationship. It's not about pushing someone into sales. It's about you get to know who I am, where I'm coming from. And you see, you determine yourself, is this of a value to you or not? I hope you guys enjoyed this so far. This goes, comes from a much, much deeper place. But I'm going to give you a secret right now. And this is a secret. Oh, you're going to love this. I learned this a long time ago. I've been speaking for many, many years and um, I've been having different results. I've been always doing some sales presentations, selling this and this and that, auctions, uh, art, uh, travel talks, property courses here and there. And I had my results going up and down and I didn't know how. I'm doing the same presentation over and over again, but somehow I'm selling more and, and this place I'm selling less and I didn't know why. And one gentleman came to me and said, this is the reason why. If you apply this, you're always going to have the same results. What was that? Tell me more. You guys want to know? Let me tell you. So every single audience, even right now, might be a few of you folks, but every single audience, there's four types of people. Simple. Number one, we have drivers. 
Now, drivers, they're probably the ones who right now, they say, hey, man, this guy, Milan, he can talk forever. Hurry up, man. Go get straight to the point. We have another event. We're going home here today. <laughs> you know who you are. Look, drivers, they're fast paced. Go straight to the point. They don't want to miss out and they want quick results. And the uh, thing with drivers is if they don't get what they want, they're going to leave. Mm. They normally come a bit late, but they also, they want, they, they're the first ones to leave your events. Drivers, right? So we need to kind of give them something quicker to get them entertained. Number two, we have a lot of analytical people in every crowd. Could be online, could be offline, could be live. People who like to, you know, this guy, you know, give me more facts. I like this way, 45,000, give me more. They need more facts, more testimonials, more proof, more numbers, statistics, right? Analyticals, they love that. They love that, right? For them, quick results, you know, tell me more and I'll do my own research, right? Bit of a slow pace, need facts, proof, and they don't want to make a mistake. That's what they're always asking for more information, more information. They're a bit slow though. We also have amiable people. Amiable people are people who just love stories. Some of you are right now, they say, wow, this guy is so interesting. Wow, come from Serbia, tell me more, Milan. You know who you are, right? Love stories. If you guys, if you ever been to South Africa, people here, most of them, they're amiable. They love stories. And they love telling you stories. And they love the sense of belongings, being part of a community. They need a support, right? So here's the thing. If your presentation doesn't have stories, if you have only quick results and proof, and if you're talking in, in speaking South Africa, South Africans are going to get bored. They're going to leave. Hmm. My work, if you're in New York, you know, people are quick paced. Well, go straight to the point. Don't tell us stories, right? In the UK, you know, I bring a lot of facts, statistics. UK guys, they love me. Milan, perfect. Give us more testimonials. Perfect, right? But then we also have expressive people, which is a four types of group of people. If you ever spoken in Spain, in those uh, uh, Latin American countries, people are more expressive. They get loud they, and they want to dance when you talk. Right? They need to have fun. And you kind of need to learn to become a bit of a fun guy. Or a lady, right? So if you're not fun by nature, I suggest learn some jokes about that place where you're going to be speaking. Why? Because you really want to talk to the audience in front of you. Now, how do we apply this in our presentation? Simple. You don't want to be just one type of a speaker. You want to kind of put all these four things into one presentation. Now, the thing is not everyone, let's say, I go to Spain, they're expressive. Not all people in South Africa, they're amiable, but most likely in every crowd, I'm going to have four types of people. And if you look at yourself right now, you probably fit into some of these categories. Some of you might say, but Milan, sometimes I want quick results. Milan, sometimes I'm analytical. Sometimes I want to have fun. Sometimes I love stories, Milan. Yes, we all fall into all four types of it, but some of these are more dominant than other. Right. So what I really do, what I learn is to create every presentation and to make it interesting, to show some quicker results, to go straight to the point, to tell stories, but also to make a bit fun of it. And here's my advice. If you want to make fun of it, make fun of yourself. It's safest and uh, people are going to laugh at you. If you can handle it, it's great. Don't laugh at politicians or anything like that. Don't do that. Right. There's a lot of different things there. We don't want to go there. So laugh at yourself, make fun of yourself, with your bold head and stuff. So that's fine. You know, I can handle it. So people see that you're genuine, that you don't mind. And you're kind of more like everyone. Look, nobody's perfect. And you don't want to be that perfect speaker, proper, no ums and ums. You know, those perfect guys, you know who you are, right? You're perfect. We're perfect. We're just too perfect, but I'm not perfect. Why do you why are you so perfect and not perfect? I don't resonate. It does not resonate with me. So be who you are. And in a way, when, if you're able to apply this in your presentation, whether it's the webinar, whether it's a live event like this, a lot of people are going to find you quite interesting and, and they will stay, most, of, most likely they will stay till the end. Does this make sense to you guys? Now, analytical guys are like, hmm, I need more information. Maybe I should go to. <laughs> now, look, I, I started applying this in my results skyrocketed because it was always consistent regardless where I go. But I would do a lot of research before I speak. If I, let's say, speaking in Cape Town, people are more analytical. They're a bit slow paced. So I need a bit more facts. If I speak in Johannesburg here, people are taking more action. They're quicker. So I need to kind of get to the point quicker. In UK, I need to bring a lot of facts. It is what it is, right? Now, uh, here's what I learned from this powerful lady, my mentor, Lisa Nico. She said this to me a while ago, Milan, show me, don't tell me. Don't tell me your story. Show me. What do you mean, Lisa? Okay, tell me your story. Man. Well, I was broke. I was bankrupt. I left my country 2005. Ended up working in America. She's like, boring. Now show me. 
how do I show you? Show me how you felt when you were broke. Show me how you felt when you left your country. Show me how your father felt when he was escorting you at the airport, leaving you, leaving the country. Show me. Okay, so how does that feel being sad? Well, you know, your tears are coming down. Okay, how else? Well, well, you feel something in your stomach. How else? But you feel that you want to cry, but you don't want to cry, but you want to cry. Yeah, yeah, I, I know the feeling. You know. How else? How does it feel when you're hungry? Well, you know, Lisa, it's not a nice feeling. How does that feel? Well, you know, I woke up one day on my friend's couch, brown old bed. I'm all alone, hungry, broke, bankrupt. I went to the bathroom, look at myself in the mirror, and all I see is the failure. All I see a grown up man who's crying and who's got no idea what he's going to go tomorrow. Mm. And Lisa's like, mm, that's what I wanted to see. Because she said to me, Milan, while you were talking, I saw that image of you in front of that mirror crying. And I saw it. And you know, that resonated with me because Milan, I was homeless back in the days. I was that lady with a kid and I had $12 in my pocket. Mm, now we're building a connection. So she said to me, simply Milan, show people how you felt. Don't tell them, show them. Show them how does it feel being successful. Show them how does it feel being broke. And people will resonate with you much, much deeper. And when you show someone your story, when you just don't tell them, show them, people will in their mind create images and connect with you in much, much deeper level. And when you create your story this way, there's that instant connection. You know, most people have been broke. You know, if I, if I talk about journey, about having kids, most people have kids, right? So I, I can talk about those people. If I'm talking to entrepreneurs, CEOs, like I have today, then I can talk about failure in business. And I can talk about, you know, I failed many, many times. And I can talk about how does it feel when you're failing, when you're at the very bottom, when nobody wants to fund you, when nobody wants to listen to your idea. What do you do? And you're at the very bottom. Mm -hmm. Are you guys getting this? Are you guys connecting? powerful of sharing your story if you focus on the emotions how did you feel when that happened that particular moment and i specialize this with my students we identify different moments of your story of your life and we pull that out so when you're talking to ceos when you're talking to a young girl who got pregnant at 15 you pull out that story when you were that young girl with 15 when you were that young boy who was bullied you pull that story out and show people that there is hope mm. That's the power of the story. And you tied up your story to your offering, to your product or service. I mean, if you guys know our brand, Riches and Beyond, we're big here in South Africa, leading property education company. Everybody knows about the story about my wife who comes from dusty roads of Harankua Township in Pretoria, here from nothing. She started from nothing. Her dad lost a job working for BMW and, and they literally had to sell all these little little things, uh, little, here they call it wet cooks, um, Little things that you make, that you bake on the street. Literally, that's the way of surviving. I used to sell lavender from door to door. Knock, knock. Hey, you want lavender? No, what's that? Bye-bye. You know, so, so many knows, but those are the stories. Stories make you. And if you're in the front of the business, people know you because you say, oh, that's that lady from that. You know, she's showing me that it's possible. So that's the true power of your story. Own your story and you own your life. Mm. Now, I want to talk about the business right now, folks. And this, ah, you're going to love this one. So look, you might have a great story in marketing as well. Now, how do we make profit? How do we make money at the end of the day when we identify a deal client? So what you see on the screen, this is a Tony Robbins, Tony Robbins funnel. And I love this funnel. It's simple. If you guys know Tony Robbins, one of the greatest speakers, coaches, performance coach, but he's got a powerful business model. You see him on the stage, but there's a massive business behind him. Now, what you see here, it's very, very simple. You can copy it. You can find it online on Google, simple, simple. You can copy it. And uh, our business model is very, very similar. Like we did with our property programs and also Millionaire Speakers program. So there's the first thing that you see him. I, I, I didn't know who Tony is, but probably about 10, 15 years ago, I saw him somewhere speaking. Like, who's this big guy? speaking loud and then i realized oh he's got some interviews i saw him on the youtube and he's got different show here and there okay that's the first thing that you see we call this a lead magnet okay i kind of like him creates awareness and then next thing he offers something whether it's the book hey buy my book milan you know me by now buy my book there's an awake the giant within and there's different low price points and here's what the big marketers know if somebody buys your product whether it's $1 product or $5 or $100, they're more likely to buy the next thing that you offer. 
right? Versus the one who never bought anything. Simple as that, psychology, right? So he would offer this something. Okay, let's say I bought a book. I love this Awake the Giant within, love the book. And then the next thing he offers, you know, unleash the power within conference. Oh, now it's like a thousand dollars. Now it's like 10 times more. Can I afford it? But I'm thinking, can I afford it? It's not about, I don't want it. It's, can I afford it? I know Tony, I love his book. I want to be like him. Can I afford it now? You know, how the, the 10,000, I cannot even think about it at that point of time, right? But to get to this point, he needed to create a funnel that you go through before you buy that higher end product. Before he even offers you $65,000 private coaching, that's like, but can you guys see the point here? If I just saw Tony, don't know who he is, and I said, this guy, big guy offering me $65,000 product, I'm like, who, who are you? I don't even know you. Are you kidding me? $65,000? Here in, in Rand, in South Africa, it's in, it's in millions, literally. So like, I, I don't want to do that. There's no way I'm going to buy for it. I don't even know you. So I have to build trust. So before you offer a high pr price product, got to be some trust. You build a trust, whether through your emails, whether with your social media, with your, with your videos, with your posting, constantly daily building trust. So when you offer, I've seen your testimonials. I've seen the proof essentially should be a no brainer. I need to see the same value. If I pay this much $65,000, right? And if I say, hey, my client uh, built a business, a seven figure business, and it's just gonna cost you $65,000 to build a seven figure business. Well, let's see that of a value. So if there's not one client's more, so it's all about the value again. Powerful, powerful funnel. We, we build all our businesses very, very similar way. If you guys have been following us in South Africa, if you're not, it's fine. First thing first, you see our ad on the Facebook. Hey, Milan, there's a clear message. Do you want to build a business to seven figures with your story? Great. Come to my free event. Live event. I love doing them live. I don't like automated. I love love. It's more interactive, right? Now, people come to the live event with me and like, you know, here's a live event. There won't be any selling here. If you want something, if you need some help with me, well, let's hop on a call. Whether it's a discovery call, let's see how I can really help you. At this point, I don't really know. Are you the right person for me? And then on the call, I will tell you what's missing and you will realize by yourself and then you decide. Do you want to work with me or not, right? If I can solve some problems for you, if I can take you three months from now to be on the front cover, to take you to different stages, to connect you with different speakers, to build your business to seven figures in three, six months from now, well, you decide, is this something you want to do? So it's very, very subtle. There's no pushing here. I've seen a lot of people pushing it, come to the webinar, buy this, and then we're selling you something else. We also do on the property side of it, that old fashioned model. Here's a free webinar. Buy the masterclass three day. When you come to the masterclass, we also offer coaching and mentorship program for people who want to learn some advanced strategies. That works great. That works great for some people. Uh, other people just don't. That's why we have lower price point, which is inner circle. Inner circle is a low price point, about ten dollars a month. Where well, people who cannot afford the masterclass, who cannot afford the coaching or mentorship program, they pay monthly subscription. Okay, I just want to be part of your network, what you have, because I love what you do. So that's why you want to get people to pay you monthly. I hope this makes sense to you guys, folks. Simple funnel. Uh, I learned something powerful a long time ago. Do not reinvent the wheel. See what's working there. See how other people do it. Apply it and make it better if you can. You're probably going to see if you copy Tony Robbins' funnel that something does not resonate with you. Just make it your own. Make it your own. Make it different and better. Uh, outside of your competitors, which brings us to the important part of this. How do we create an awareness through social media marketing? It's the world of social media, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, powerful social media platform. In fact, uh, uh, how did I end up being at this event? I think one of your founders, I found him on the, on the Facebook, one of the groups, and I just reached out. I was a bit proactive. Hey, you know, uh, I heard that you have this event. I'd like to be part of it. And that's how we got in touch. And this is the second time we're part of it. So social media simply is, it's not just, I like to call it social for socializing. It's more for a, building a business and brand awareness, simple. Find the one, the, the platform that resonates with you and stick to that one. I love Facebook. A lot of our clients come from Facebook, but I also like LinkedIn. It's more professional network. When you connect, talking about business straight to the point, Milan, this is what we have, this is what we have. But also what I love doing is I love doing these, calls one-on-one -on -one. because one-on-one -on -one, uh, once you get to that point to talk to someone one-on-one -on -one, you really want to see how you can help them it's not about doing those abc closing strategies that that thing does not work for me anymore you know i can see a snake oil salesman from a mile away you if you're if you're here to sell me something I, it's a big turnoff for me 
But funny enough, the easiest person to sell to is a salesman. And I've been selling all my life, but I want to see the value. I want to see that genuine connection with you. I want to see who you are first. I want to see, do I like you? Do I really want to work with you first? And then, okay, now let's talk about what you offer, right? And then if I, I only work with genuine people, with people who feel that they need help, with people who feel that I can help them. And, and if, if that connection is genuine from the beginning, there's no later on bias, remorse. There's no, oh, I want my money back. Never happens when you come from a genuine place. Milan, I think that you're the right person. I believe in your process and I want to be part of that. So that's where social media comes in place. So share your journey, share your story, inspire people. I mean, there's a lot of strategies about social media. There's no right or wrong there as long as you have something. I mean, ideally you want to have someone to take care of this instead of you doing it by yourself, one man band posting every day, you know, get someone to do it for you. It post how you feel, but gotta be of a value. Gotta be coming from a different place. You know, today I was with my kids. And for all of you folks who feel that, you know, that you in that place that, that you're not privileged, that you don't have kids or that your business is struggling, here's a hope. There is a hope. Back in the days, I was struggling. I was a college robot. My business failed many, many times and persevere, stay there and keep moving forward. And it's all about that lifestyle that you want to provide. And got to be coming from a different, different, better place down the line. But I want to share with you guys right now uh, a powerful tool. I've been using this. Uh, since the beginning of pandemic, interesting enough, we had to shift from live events. Before that, we didn't know anything about webinars, literally nothing. We had a website and you want to book our event, go on the website and book our live events. So we specialize in live events, hotels, bookings, uh, table rush, run there. I, I know all that for years I've been doing that, but online, how do we do this? We have to switch online. We don't know anything about it, but let's find someone to teach us. We don't know anyone. So who do we have? We had Lisa Nikos, her team, and happy. We spent a lot of money on her, but, but she connected us with the right people. She's been doing online business for many, many years. She connected us. Her team taught us everything, everything. And I also learned from one of my mentors, Louis House, powerful gentleman. Uh, uh, I'm so happy to, to have him as well. Seven-figure webinars. Our webinars are seven-figure webinars. At the beginning, we didn't have an idea, but there was a structure. We we'll literally copy how Lisa did it, doing the master classes online later on via Zoom, via webinar jam. And then how do we do these webinars? How do we turn them into conversion from 1% to 5 to 10, 15% closing rate? How do we get more people coming to our webinars? You know, all these questions that people ask, how do I have my webinar successful? Should it be automated? Should it be a, a live? So we, we crack this. And, and right now we're doing about 20 webinars a month. And we have about two different master classes per month, three day workshops, and it's working as a charm. Our, this is what our business is right now, online business, which is a seven figure and now eight figure business this year. So it's been an amazing journey. We apply the same principle with property journey with riches and beyond and with millionaire speakers. And now we also have crypto program with crypto mark, which is also seven figure business, also very successful. Same template, same template. Now webinar is a different story. I'm gonna share with you guys a bit of a template uh, well, I don't have it here, but I'm going to share with you guys a template, what it is. Also, if you need more help with webinars, feel free to book a call with me. I'll be more than happy to share it. Template with the webinar is simple. If you remember from the beginning of this presentation, four types of people, right? Drivers, analytical, amiable, and expressive. You want to put all that into your presentation. You want to tell a story a little bit about yourself. You want to share a bit of a testimonials of your clients, what you've done. Show some proof. If you've been in speaking in different presentations, different events like this one, put it somewhere there on your website or on your webinar and show some different links. Shows the problem, show the problem, shows the solution, how you can solve them. And eventually towards the end, you can offer it. Simple, I'm gonna show you some testimonials right here. Webinar is a whole different story. Great platform we use is uh, Webinar Jam. Even when you sign up for them as a trial, they will give you a template of the webinar that according to them, it's a seven figure webinar, very, very similar uh, what we use, but it's all about, at least you have something, what to put where, put a bit of a joke here and there. What I normally do, I have a one piece of content. After every piece of content, there's a story. Where my story, where all my student's story or someone who used it, right? Another piece of content or a strategy, then there's a story about someone who used that strategy or testimonial. And the third one, I would normally do about three pieces of content, three stories, 
uh, three testimonials and towards the end, okay, well, there, there's a program we have and you decide if something you want to do, right? So these are some of the powerful people, part of our network, part of our team. We have our show on the home channel, The Property Game, but also all about property. Uh, these are some of our students who are now presenters. Uh, Dunisani at the very bottom, black and white photo. He's the international speaker spoken in Australia. Some of our students as well been featured in, on the home channel. Uh, this is our, our show on the, the home channel called The Property Game. Uh, if you guys have not seen the show, it's a property show. Every single episode, one of our students share the story, the strategy. And you see that there's people who started with not even a single set of their own money people who are doing multi-million dollar developments, people who invest in students' accommodation. It's a powerful program, a lot of great uh, reviews. The season two is coming and uh, the lady you see on the screen, my wife, she's a CEO and head mentor. We were in this journey together and she's that lady coming from the township from Harankua, Dusty Roads of Harankua, Pretoria. Now she's a presenter and local celebrity. She's a head mentor. So I married my boss, it is what it is. So, but you know, this is a journey. And it's all about you knowing where you want to go. Where do you see yourself one year from now, six years from now? If you feel need to uh, share your story, why are you not sharing it? If you feel need to uh, people to get to know more who you are, people to get to know more about your business, about the place where you're coming from, you know, how do we get that up tied up into one, one big picture? So this is what I specialize in. There's, there's three things that needs to happen. Number one, your story needs to come out there. I'm sure you have a powerful story it needs to be out there. Number two, with your marketing, we have to promote it. We have to create all that buzz about you, what you stand for, and then about your business. Number three, gotta be a business. So when you're standing on that stage on the powerful event like this, you're sharing your story. You're talking about your business, about your journey, there's a powerful structure, powerful funnel behind it. Because when the presentation is over, people will reach out to you. Wow, Milan, you know, this was amazing. Milan, how do I get in touch with you? Milan, can you help me with webinars? Milan, how do I end up on the front cover of the magazine? Milan, I'm struggling. Do you have any connections in TV stations? I want to be invited on podcast. Milan, I want to speak more. How do I get invited to stages? That's what it's all this about. You're not just a speaker. You're a transformer. You're someone who shared a story who can potentially ch change someone's life with that story, but also get people to be part of that funnel because for you, it's also a business as well. I hope this resonates with some of you guys as well. Again, I wanna bring back this framework. Uh, uh, it's, it's very simple. It does require you to have different specialty teams. Depends what you need, right? If you wanna build, if you feel that you're lacking is marketing, you do need to have that social media presence. Also, what we use, we use a lot of paid ads. We have a certain budget, big budget. We are leading, we're number one here in South Africa, property space education. We have the most success stories, our own show. So we are leading, we invest a lot of money in marketing, but social media is massive for us. We have over, in one of our pages, 50,000 people. Another one also 50, our entire database, 220,000 people. So marketing got to be there, right? But First thing first, if you need help with any of these things, uh, I'm going to post the link again where you can book a call with me. It's completely free, complimentary. If you need help with telling your story, connecting more with, with the audience, if you need help with any of these platforms, uh, with webinars, uh, if you need that structure, what, Milan, what kind of script do you use when you talk to someone one on one? I'll be happy to share with you guys that. So, completely free. There won't be any selling. Again, I'm coming from a place of a value of, of giving back and serving. So that's why I'm here today as well. Uh, if you need any help with marketing strategies, how to grow your business, how do I scale it, Milan, to the next level? How do I get more clients? How do I get more people come to my webinars? How do I have this automated Milan? I want to sleep and make money and sleep. You know, reach out. So uh, I'm going to post that link again uh, right here. It's quite simple. Calendly.com forward slash millionaire speakers call feel free to book it I, I made myself available for next three days i get very busy now the holidays are coming we have a lot of events coming and uh this is my time to give back as well for you folks i'm not sure when i'm going to be watching this but if the event is not if, it, if the the date is booked feel free to reach out to me on the social media facebook instagram linkedin and i'll be more than happy to answer and it, it is going to be me so yes i do have people take care of my social media but most of the time i am uh taking care of this myself. Now, uh, at this point, if you have any questions, feel free to write them down either in the chat or on, on live event, Facebook, YouTube, or even right now. Uh, if not, but I can just share a couple of, couple of comments, a uh, couple of questions what people would normally ask me. 
uh, people normally will be asked me, Milan, you know, uh, uh, if I'm just an aspiring speaker, a beginner, can I do this? Can I eventually be on the page, on, on, the, on the stage with 3,000, 5,000 people like you did? The answer is yes. Look, I could barely speak English. All I had was a burning desire. I, I, I saw someone and I liked what I saw was this gentleman and I saw a lot of people clapping and he was controlling the room and, and I said, wow, well, I want to do this, but I don't know, can I do this? I can't even speak English. And then eventually I saw someone who was also someone with an accent and he put me into said, Milan, you can do the same thing. How bad do you want it? You want something badly? Well, go there and make it happen. So that's how I started. Can you do it? Yes, you can. Can you grow to the next level? Yes, you can. Milan, what about the startup? Can I grow my business to seven figures? Yes, you can. It's been done before, but you need to have a clear path, right? Maybe right now you don't know how to reach that next level to six, seven, eight figures like we did. We didn't know, but what we did, we find a business that was eight figure business. We copied it. We literally copied the business model. We made it better. And there was a big company, UK company. I'm not going to mention it, but they were big here in South Africa. They were ruling the property space. What we did, we took their business model. We made it better. We gave more value, more service, more commitment, more better mentors, more value in terms of a content. That's why you have more stories. And guess, guess where are they right now? They go on, they disappeared. Literally, they disappeared. They were relying on one brand and that brand faded, disappeared, and they just had nothing. Because if brand is gone, the company is gone, right? So it's all about the brand. It's all about your businesses and nurturing it. It's always the question. If something happened to you tomorrow, can your business be running without you, right? So we build all these brands that, that you're not alone, that there's a brand behind it, there's a story, there's different people involved, so that somebody can continue your legacy. And I think this is where the, the presentation ends today. Uh, I hope I gave you a lot of value. I hope I give you a bit of a clarity in terms of a business. Again, if you need any help with anything in terms of uh, sharing your story in terms of building your business, in terms of any events that you guys uh, need help in marketing, feel free to reach out. I'm more than happy to share it. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, everybody stay safe, stay healthy. Charles, I'll be, I, I truly appreciate this opportunity. And uh, if anybody at any point want to reach out to me, uh, feel free to share my links and I'll be, I'll be around both in social media, but, but in the meantime, truly appreciate this opportunity. And Charles, Good to see you again. <laughs> Hi, Milan. How are you, Milan? How are you doing? I'm doing you. good. Doing good. Yes. For so last evening, you were there, and that was awesome. And uh, mm -hmm. today, I said I just sat on my PC. I had lo loads of work for uh, even going on from the IT side, but I said it's Milan, and I have yes. to be here to listen. I just loved it. What a show! What a show. very good, fantastic. I just like the four people you said, and uh, even you said if you want to be a millionaire. You should find a millionaire. This sentence made a lot to me. I guess that should work for me and for others too. Uh, the phase of life that, that that you came from, like you never looked back. You always looked that you really want to do something in life. That is something very strange mm -hmm. and very good uh, for any people who would who would love to be like you. So it was great to hear you last time. This time we are going to have another event next year very soon by June. So I would love you to come down again, and I would just love to listen to you. It was I'll great. Be awesome. I'll be happy. Really awesome. yeah. I truly appreciate that, Albi and Charles. You guys did an amazing job. You have a great lineup of speakers, and I'm yeah. going to be listening to some of them. It's such a great platform to be part of it. I'm truly privileged, privileged and honored to be part of it, I guess. Yes. Same here. Same here to see you back, Milan. Very happy to see you back. All I was right. kidding. Oh, where should I get Milan? I was just saying from all the rooms where are you? I just got into Albi. I said, let's join there. And yeah, thank you. It was great. Great to hear you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Really awesome. Appreciate it. I can All the best. Hear you. Every day I can hear you. It's like that. Really good. Thank All the go. best to you, to your wife, oh. to your kids, and to your family. Really good. good job. Thanks so much. Stay blessed, guys. Okay. Yeah, stay blessed. Thanks, Alvi. Doing good job. Okay. Thank you as well, uh, Milan. Hi, Charles. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Good work. Good Thank work. you, everyone. Uh, yeah, of course, I'll enjoy the rest of the day and see you all tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow morning. Just take day. a rest. Bye. Eat something, grab a coffee or something. Bye bye. Take care.